Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. And somebody was watching one of my other macros and said this would, he really enjoyed it and it taught him how to do it. He always wanted to make a macro to turn stuff at a 90 degree. To make this work, you have to have an item selected. Then go to Tools, Scripts. Yours might say macros in earlier version. Start recording it. We're going to call this degree. And we're going to hit OK. Now we're going to rotate it 90 degrees. That's all you have to do. Go to Tools, Scripts, Stop Recording. Let's actually put this back to zero. Now we're going to go to Tools, Scripts, or Macros, <gasps> Scripts, and find a degree. Click on an item and double click on it. Click on the item and double click on it. Click on an item and double click on it. That's the key is to have one selected at first. If you don't have one selected at first, it won't really work. Now let's put all these back to zero and let's make a hot key for this because that wouldn't save you any time. But if we right click and, and uh, assign a shortcut key for that recorded macro, we're gonna type in the, the number nine Okay, there's also a, currently assigned a recall group nine. I don't know of anybody that's going to use that. And that would be the most ob, uh, logical case. Let's back up here and just see if we can't type in nine and zero, nine and zero at the same time. And let's go assign and then say okay. So now let's pick on that and just hit the nine and the zero. Pick that, hit the nine and the zero. So this I don't like because it's a two finger uh, deal and it's not gonna really save you that much time. So let's go back here and let's delete this by going here and deleting it. And just try something else you might like, the escape key. Well, I've already got mine set up on no fill. Uh, all your F keys, uh, or taken up uh, the okay the forward slash that might be relevant you know kind of turning it actually a backward slash would probably do be better because it's going to be uh, and let's see if it's a sign it's not assigned anything so a backward slash kind of like it's leaning and then hit okay so now I'm gonna grab that, not with the shape tool, and I'm just gonna hit the backward slash, backward slash, backward slash, backward slash. So there's a hot key right there that you'll have for the future on anything you do, you know, any line, and it'll rotate at 90 degrees. I'd like to test this. If we draw a line that's not at 90 degrees, or not at uh, anything, any kind of degree, Let's see what it does. Let's make it thicker so you can see it. Let's click on it and hit the forward slash. It rotated at 90 degrees from where it was. So that could be, I mean, you could do that up here. But to, you know, to change, let's back up. So to do it, you have to go up here and click with the mouse and then type in 90 degrees. With our new hotkey, all we have to do is hit the backward slash. And the reason I picked a backward slash is it's, it's going to rotate it this way, kind of uh, right to left. Anyway, I hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.